What's going on gamers? Welcome back to another Madden 20 video. Today, I'm going to show y'all a defense that will stop all runs. You can use the nickel 245 or the nickel normal depending on what playbook you are in. Now, the key to this video is my opponent has to force passes. And right there, he gets a glitchy catch. But that's something that I'm willing to live with. As long as he's not breaking for 30 and 40 yard arm bar special ability runs like he just tried to do on that play you have a better chance of winning nickel 245 or the nickel normal you don't have to come out in the 3-4 odd or the 4-4 unless they are in more than a two tight end set as you can see we bust them in the mouth real quick I'm telling him put the ball in the air because you are not going to run on me and it's too easy adjustments to have the best run defense in Madden 20. I just updated the Patreon. I just updated all ebooks with the free tip. Now, this is something that you're going to want before the rest of the community gets it. If you are playing franchise, if you are playing money games, you want to know these two key tips to be able to get a more aggressive block shed on the defensive line and you want to put at least seven people in run fits at all times as you can see he's trying to go to the outside he's trying to go to the inside we have somebody there every single play in Madden it's chances that they are going to break four five tackles sometimes but when you are running the defense exactly like I just broke down on my Patreon or in my ebooks you decrease the chances by about 90%. If they run the ball 14 times, they have a chance of breaking for more than five yards, probably two times maximum. This is a guaranteed run stopping tip and it's up to y'all to be able to shut down the run and force the pass. We are still in the first quarter. He has ran the ball about six times and all total, he has maybe five positive yards running the ball probably six times coming into the game with his abilities already activated knocking him out of the zone is the first key the second key is making sure you constantly let your opponent know that you will not be spamming the run over and over and over you will have to come up with a scheme and every time that should have been a fumble should have had three fumbles so far in this gameplay but once he go into a run formation, it's up to us to lock it down. Like I said, they can't get double teams on run blocking. They have to do single. Uh, with this defensive tip, they have to give you one-on-one -on -one chances. And then when they go into split close, gun trade, all them different type of offenses and pass the ball, which 90% of the community is uncomfortable with, that's when you are going to force turnovers and force rage quit. 